hello everyone so today I'm gonna show you how to use uh, this turn in place animations so here unless the character is moving character will use a turn in place animation to turn towards me so here see that's the animation so yeah that's what we are going to work on today you see in turn in place animations because earlier i was just simply rotating the character through the code without using any animations that looks bad because we see the foot sliding on the ground but now uh, it looks much better Alright, so let's see how to do that today. And before we get started, let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects I have done from the Patreon page. I'll leave the link in description. And this is a part of the section RPG with gameplay ability system series. So feel free to check it out, all other episodes as well. I'll leave the full playlist link in the description and now let's see how to do the turn in place animations okay so right now uh, as you can see these enemies are just simply rotating uh, to match the direction of the of their currently targeted enemy like this see so it's just simply rotate in character without any animation so what i want to do is uh, rotate in the enemies or or my character also when i am focused on uh, enemy i need to turn in place with an animation so right so how do we do that okay so first of all i'll open my base character and here in the event graph you see this focus on enemy function call in the tick so this will be called when i have a lock target and so here as you can see i simply set the uh, rotation through this r interp so that i can smoothly rotate now i still need to use this only when my character is on the move when the character is not moving instead of just directly setting the rotation i want to have a in place turn animation okay so first how do we detect if the character is on the move that's simple we can get velocity and vector length to get the magnitude of that velocity if this is larger than uh, let's Five. I need to use the direct rotation setting method. If not, I want to play an animation to rotate the character in place. So, okay, now uh here i can get the delta between the actual rotation and the look at rotation and if the uh, and i can split this so we only need to consider your component when we consider rotation so if the absolute value of this your is let's say larger than 85 uh, the reason to use 85 is i already have two animations that where is it these two animations turn left 90 
degrees and turn right 90 degrees so i want to use this animation so that's why i'm checking 85 i maybe i sh if i check exactly 90 that might be a bit too much so just close enough is enough uh, so if the difference of the current direction character looking at and the direction of the current target enemy is larger than 85 degrees then i should play a turn animation so yeah that's what i'm planning to do here now here let's have a branch and so if this is the case i need to play a montage uh, i want to try no i want to try this one this play montage node because here i can see when this is completed and when it is interrupted things like that but i can't use this because this is a function and this has a delay so a latent node we can't use latent node in nodes inside functions so i think i should convert this focus of an enemy to an event here convert function to event oh let me undo that why did it Does it work better if I'm here, like in an empty area? Hmm, it didn't. It's getting mixed up with other stuff. I think it's just this. Let's collapse this. Where is it? Okay. Focus on enemy. Right. Now let me put this back again. All right. So here now i should be able to use montage yeah so if this is the case that means either we need to turn left or right because here we are considering absolute value now if this is larger than zero let's select this montage to play based on this so if this is larger than zero that means it is a positive value that means in order to match directions my character would need to turn left and if it is false turn right so we should do this only once and reset if after this is completed Oh, blend out uh, or oh, interrupted okay so that we will not uh, play the animation 
repeatedly while it is already playing now the montages so before i create the montage i need to enable root motion of this for this animation so it will It would be better if I use the first animation here. Similarly, I need to enable root motion. Not lock. Okay. Right now, let's create montages. Create and a montage. Turn right for force. Turn left. Oh, oh wait for this. This should be right. okay and uh, please note that here i'm not thinking about having different types of weapons because i'm using the sword and shield animation but i do have a great sword as well so we may have to think about later on what happens if my character is wielding a great sword but let's just make this work for sword and shield first Okay, yeah. See, now the enemy is turning with an animation. Great. it does if it is moving but if it is not moving it uses the animation yeah it is yeah it is using the animation okay great so and my character also should use the animation but to test that the enemy should move to the side of me it doesn't look like it's going to do that yeah okay great so thanks for watching as always, updated project files will be available for download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions. See in the comments below. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.